Oh, welcome to a can. Look at all of my friends. Do you see them all? We have. I'll give you guys a few minutes to join the can. Mm, mm, I like that lighting better. Okay. So, oh, there we go. Then I'm in the corner. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rowena. Look at them. Look at all my little friends are back. Hello, Puerto Rico. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to try. Hi, Mel. Hi, Angela. I am going to try to share this because people don't get notifications. So um, if I disappear, that could be why. So just, you need to all just give me a sec. Okay, right there. Hi. So I'm sharing it. So if my, um, oh, what did that do? Uh-oh. Okay, you got a notification. Silver Fox. Silver Fox, what does that mean? Um, how do I share it to... Maybe I can't. Um, um, huh. Oh, well. Because you guys are all like, what are you doing? I'm trying to share, but obviously I'm not doing it very... Um, I could copy the link. Well, that's not going to happen, so I just won't share. Hi, everyone. It is so great to see. Uh, what is that shadow from? Is that from this? Oh, oh. Ooh, maybe I should sit back then. <gasps> OMG. Okay. Ooh, I've never sat this far back in my car seat. Okay. Um... Okay, we need to turn off these heated seats because I'm already sweating. Okay, hi, welcome everyone. So, welcome to um, a Ken from the car episode. So, if you um, don't know what a Ken from the car is, they're pretty random, so I apologize in advance. I do have a plan. Like, every time I do a Ken from the car, I have a plan. And I have it all written, and I'm supposed to always like stick to the plan, but they don't have a sitter. Like people that have severe ADHD like me should have a person, like a moving buddy with you. So they should sit here and say, Ken, you're getting off topic or you need to get back on that. But I don't have that. So it's kind of like, um, well, it's just a hot mess. Let's be honest. <laughs> so, uh, I basically talk about crafty deals. I talk about what's on my mind. We have all my friends. We'll introduce them in a second. Um, I get off track. We talk about randomness. I'm afraid I'm going to get hijacked. It's a whole thing, okay? So, welcome. Um, I love Ken from the Cars, by the way. So, And I love all of you. So, here's the deal. Um, you guys always comment, and it's awesome. But they don't see your comments sometimes, so I try to read them afterwards. But Jasmine's kind of checking my comments and stuff. But um, anyways, yeah. Okay, so let's start with all the important stuff. though, Because there are people that actually come here for the deals and not just to look at this hot mess express. So, let's talk about the deals. So, the deal right now, you guys, do not miss out on this deal. Oh, where's my thing? Listen. This is your listen cue. Wait. Listen, because these deals at Cricut right now are really good. Usually Cricut does buy one, get one. Oh, I forgot to say something because I have to say this. So this video contains affiliate links down below. Affiliate links will take you to the Cricut website. If you use these affiliate links, I do get a small compensation from Cricut back and um but it does not influence my judgment. Wait, no. It does not influence my, like, you know, it doesn't influence me. But I do have to say that. So they are affiliate links. But if you use those affiliate links, you get more of this hot mess because <laughs> it helps support my lifestyle. <laughs> so use them. Also, there has been an update with our coupons. So my coupon that Cricut graciously has given me is KK10, okay? KK10. Now that gets you 10% off. It does not work on machines, bundles, or new items. So easy presses, machines, any machines it doesn't work on. But what's different now is KK10 is still 10% off, but in order to get free shipping, you have to have at least $50 in your cart. So uh, make sure if you want free shipping to get that $50 minimum, and then you get free shipping, yay! So. 
We're going to talk about Cricut because here is the deal. Um, this sale, normally Cricut does buy one, get one half off, which is still good. But this one is buy one, get one free. So I am already going to address it because I see a lot of people saying boo and that sucks and stuff. But here is the deal. Cricut, um, their, their prices are pretty low um, already and they have sale prices and they're giving us an additional 10% off. So um, I get it. But here's also the, the big thing is, is shipping's not cheap. So I understand it. So as much as I know it kind of does suck because there was times where we just buy one thing or two things, um, this is going to make it to where Cricut is sustainable. I mean, if you think about it, I do shipping, um, and it's like $5 to ship just a doTERRA oil, and so, like, I get it and stuff. But anyways, that's what the reason why it is. So, um, I'm just thankful that I still get a coupon code with Cricut. That's awesome. Most companies don't do that, so thank you, Cricut. All right, so it is buy one, get one off. Buy one, get one free. Now, why is this a big deal? You can combine it with discounts. So, let's do a little math. If Ken buys something for $10, right? It is buy one, get one free. So normally it would be $20, but I'm getting it for $10. But then I'm a premium access member, which we're going to talk about. That gets me 10% off. So it takes off another about dollar. And then if you use my code KK10, it takes off another dollar. So what would normally be $20, you're getting for like right around $8.23. So do not miss this sale. Cricket sales go from Tuesday to, wait, no, Wednesday to Tuesday. So you have a week. Um, but I'm going to tell you some other stuff. So let's talk about crickets. Then we have a lot of other stuff we need to talk about. And I do talk fast. I apologize. And we're going to talk about my creamer that I'm addicted to. Okay. So material is buy one, get one free new material. We're talking printable vinyl or wait, no pattern vinyl, pattern, iron on iron on, uh, all of that stuff, the new stuff, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one free. Plus you can still use codes huge okay um craft tools are buy one get one free craft tools is pretty much all accessories and tools so huge you guys do not miss this sale this is an epic sale so november is the month for cricket because um i don't know the sales that are coming up but usually they have a really good pre-black friday sale they'll have a black friday sale they'll have an after cyber monday so sock up when you can Cuddle bug is buy one, get one free as well. So my B plates that I buy all the time because they warp after time, those are buy one, get one free. So they're basically, you get two of them for $10 and then you get all the discounts on top of that. So all of that is great. Go buy that. Use the links down below. But I checked out their clearance section. Holy moly guacamole, guys. Okay, so look for these. I have all the links down below. Click. The metallic vinyl sampler is only $2.60. The vinyl sampler home, these are the ones that have like five sheets of vinyl in it. They're usually 12 by 12 and transfer tape is $2.60. These are normally $15, $2.60. The 12 by 24 card stock. So 12 by 24. So this is double what you would get in the 12 by 12 packs are $3. The candy shop pen. So this is the red, yellow. So it comes with yet red, yellow, I think a, a blue, a green, and maybe a light blue, three or $2.60. The gold pen set, which is one of my favorite pen sets, this is all of the calligraphy pen golds, are $4. And the blue accessory pouch is $2.60. I've given you all the links down below. When these are gone, they are gone. It even says on the clearance page, once it's gone, it's gone. We're not getting it back in. The paper is what I would get you guys. It's $3. So if you think about that, the 12 by 24 packs that are even on sale normally for, or the 12 by 12 packs are normally on sale for $5. You're getting double because it's 12 by 24. Literally all you have to do is cut it in half and you have double the paper and it is only $3. That's like crazy to me. And I think you can use coupon codes. So you can use KK10 and get another 10% off. I haven't verified that, but I'm pretty sure you can. So now is the time to buy. Make sure you have $50 in your cart. Huge... Uh-oh, uh-oh, sorry. Huge sales, okay? So that's Cricut. We can come back to it and talk about it if you guys want to. I do want to talk about Cricut Access really quick. So Cricut Access, everyone always says, what's Cricut Access? To me, it's Netflix for Cricut. So when I get Netflix, I pay a monthly subscription. I can watch whatever I want on Netflix. And I'm watching Wentworth right now. It's really good. And 
then next month, if I decide not to pay my Netflix subscription, I don't get access to all those shows and movies. It's just gone. Access is the same way. If you pay for access that month, you get access to over 54,000 images. 54,000 images. Next month, if you don't pay, you don't get access to those images. So think of it Netflix. Cricket access is the number one thing I tell newbies to get. Because when I started on Cricket, I had to buy... It is really cold in this car. Oh my gosh, I'm turning on the heat. Okay, so I had to... It's 44 degrees out. And what? White van. I tell you what. I'm in the garage to save, you know, to make sure I'm protected. Okay, so Cricket access... What were we talking about? Yeah, 44,000 images. Thanks, admins. Am I an admin? Okay. I don't even know what's happening, guys. I didn't read your comments. I'm sorry. Um, there's 40, 54,000. Oh, I always tell newbies, oh, all the 24 by 24 papers sold out. I was too late. Um, so, um, you guys got me off track again. What was I talking about? Axis. Uh, oh, I always tell newbies that's what you want. When I started with Cricut, I had to buy cartridges at $100 a pop and took me forever to get my collection. And now all of those are in access. Literally all the cartridges I spent years collecting are in access. <sighs> but it's awesome. It's worth it. Plus access gets you free shipping at 50. Well, the premium one gets you free shipping at $50. You get access to all the fonts. That's a big one for me because I cannot find single line fonts or handwritten fonts. Um, you can find like, like, ones that say they are, but you have, they're not. The, Cricut has the actual single line fonts and that for me is worth access right there. I love the fonts in Cricut. Oh, thanks Rockstar. Maybe he was talking about my, you know what, never mind. Okay, so that is the Cricut. Please take advantage of it. Okay. Also, I still have my mystery boxes um, available. So these are mine. These are not Cricut mystery boxes or anyone else's. These are full of items either I didn't use or gently used. And I'm destashing them at a deep discount to you guys. The majority of the Stamper's Dreams, and I have like 80 of them still left, are full of Fun Stamper Journey, Journey Red Rubber Stamps or dies or um, other stamps, uh, embossing folders. I have Chalk Tour mystery boxes. Those came back in stock. So I have like seven of those. Those ones are hugely discounted and they have transfers, paste, all new. It's all new. So if you want some of those mystery boxes, the extra ones go, go fast. Um, so I take advantage of them. I have the wood block ones. Those are not selling at all. So those get discounted because nobody wants them. They're old stamping up wood block stamps. And then I have an art box. The art boxes are basically general arts and crafts. I should have called it arts and crafts or like a crafter's dream box or something like that. They just have random things for arts and crafts. So um, I probably will be out of stock on these mystery boxes by mid next week, the way they've been selling. So I want to make sure you guys know about it. You are choppy. Oh no. I shouldn't be. I'm on Wi-Fi, and I have really good Wi-Fi. Maybe it's your Wi-Fi? I don't know. Am I choppy, everyone? Choppy, choppy, choppy. I'm chubby, not choppy. Chubby. That is why Jasmine made me go on a walk, because I'm chubby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, other deals, and then we're going to talk about some other stuff. Thermal Web released some new products, you guys, and I'm obsessed. I have not gotten it yet, but... Um, Gina K, you guys all know Gina K is with Thermal Web. She now has black foam squares. So you guys know I love Stamplistic. I love that company. I love the owner. And she always recommends using black foam squares because you can't see them when you're raising stuff up. And now Gina K has them. So I love Gina K. I love supporting Gina K. She is a huge inspiration. I love her. So check out Thermal Web's website because she has released black foam squares and her own foam squares, her own adhesive. She also, they also have some really cool deco foil sheets and a new thing called Ultra Bond Adhesive. I haven't used that, um, but I'm going to order all of it and do it. Um, also, I've given you links to Amazon's Cricut store. I won't go into details because there is way too many deals to track. Amazon Cricut Store right now is having crazy prices. Like they have the Cricut Explore Air 2 for like $198 in all the different colors. But 
not all the colors, because each store got different colors. Like Hobby Lobby got an exclusive color, Michael's got an exclusive color, all this stuff. Also, when I was at Michael's, this is a completely subject, different subject. They now have a Teresa Collins Cameo 3 in this beautiful blush color. So it's beautiful. Um, also, uh, the Scan and Cut DX is now on Amazon. So a lot of people were wondering, how can I order it? It's on at HSN. It is now on Amazon. So if you've been looking at the Scan and Cut DX, definitely get it. I've been playing with mine. Um, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. Um, also, my Chocolate Tour page is there. And then I also gave you down below um, links to my Ray Dunn group. My Chocotour new Facebook page and my Instagram, which we'll talk about there. Whew. All right. I followed it, guys. I win. Okay. So now we can talk about other stuff, but we will still talk about deals. You need to make sure to use those links and get these good deals. All right. So guys, okay. Okay. Listen, this is important in Ken's life. Listen. So I love coffee. You guys know that. This is my Ray Dunn coffee mug. It's backwards probably because um, my camera's backward. I love coffee, right? Okay, you guys all know that. But normally I get either the Cold Stone Creamery or the Cinnabon Creamery. They're my two favorite creams. I love them. I put a lot of cream in my coffee, like a lot. But two weeks ago, my life, they had taken two of my favorite things and made something new. I might cry a little bit because I love it so much. Like... This better not be a temporary cream because I will literally have to stock up on it. I could drink this. I could drink this straight. Like, oh, like it's Oreo. Like it's, and it tastes like Oreos. Like, you know, that taste of when you dip Oreos in milk and they start to like, kind of like break down. I know this cause like literally no shame. I ate a whole box of mega stuff Oreos. The entire thing on Monday. This is why Jasmine is making me run. Because I ate an entire thing of Oreos. An entire thing. Like, <laughs> But in my defense, the Mega Stuff Oreos, there's not that many in the package because they take up more room because they're Mega Stuff. Like, they're Mega Stuff. Can you freeze it? I don't know if I can freeze it. I don't know. But it is amazing. It is Oreo. It's by International Delight. And it is literally is out of stock everywhere. So when I see it in a store, Sean makes fun of me because I buy all of them. One time I had five in the cart and the lady was like, you must really like Oreo creamer. And I was like, this stuff can literally be drink. Like it tastes like Oreos that have dissolved in your milk and you drink the milk and you're like, oh my gosh. Um, Melinda, I won't hold that against you. Um, um, oh, well, okay, Michael. Um, okay. So anyways, yes. Oh, you need it. You need it. You need it. You need it. So I'm addicted to it. So there's that. Yes. So I wanted to talk to you guys. Oh, I, I'm going to try to freeze it. So Christmas time, they always come out with flavors and then they never come back. So I get very disappointed. And they also have one called Spiced, Spiced Latte, I think, or Spice Something. And it's amazing too. I love it. Okay. So yes. I have friends in the car because last week we just had the turtles and my partner in life, Sean, my fiance, but I'm kind of mad at him. He took all of my Ewoks and stuffed them in a box like they were in a jail. Oh, no, that's too dark. So, hi, Tanner. Um, so, I wanted to make sure everyone was included. So, we have our turtles. We have Ewoks now, and we also have, see, there is my inside out characters. Because you guys all know, I'm not, I'm transparent. You all know, like, I'm kind of crazy, and, like, I have to be on medication because I get depressed and stuff. So sometimes there are days when I put, like, like, Sean will get home from work, and this little cute character will be on the, <laughs> on the counter. And Sean's like, oh, he's in a sad mood today. <laughs> Proceed with caution. <laughs> Sometimes I put this out and Sean goes, uh oh, he knows I didn't do my to-do list. <laughs> go back out in the car and go somewhere else. <laughs> so I like to tell him where my moods are out, even though he knows like Within two seconds of talking to Ken, he's like, oh gosh, today's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough day. Um, 
So anyways, yes, those are my inside out friends. <laughs> I used to have them at work and I used to put them out. So the funny thing is, is we always have the turtles in the car and <laughs> we went to Home Goods. I think it was Home Goods. I don't remember. And I was behind Sean and all of a sudden Sean was like, oh yeah, those are the turtles. And we also have the inside out stuff. And you could see this mom was like, oh, my kids love, you know, those cartoons and stuff. And so I think she's looking around to be like, where's your kid? <laughs> And then I walk up and he's like, they're his. <laughs> and I know she looked at me and she was like, like, oh, is he special? Or like, why does he have stuffed animals? I like stuffed animals. They make me happy. I don't know why. I don't have to defend my stuffed animal collection, right? Do I? I love them. I love Ewoks. They're cute and cuddly. Turtles are like literally my childhood. I was a turtle fan. And Inside Out changed me. Like, I'm... Okay, here's a little tangent. Listen. Listen, people. Here's my first little tangent. So... I have an eyelash. Okay, so here's the deal. I love Pixar. But I almost had a panic attack during Inside Out. So I went to Inside Out, and I'm, like, watching this movie. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, this makes so much sense. I have all of these emotions. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, sadness, emotions, I push down. I don't want to feel sad, so I push them away. Nobody wants you, sadness, go away. And like at the end of that movie, spoiler alert, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have the sadness because sometimes sadness leads to joyness. Literally, I had an epiphany. Like, I was sitting in the theater with all these kids and I was like, oh my gosh, this, this movie's deep. Like, oh my gosh, Billy Bong or whatever his name is, we had to say goodbye to him. I had this moment, right? So I am leaving the theater having a moment. Like, I am legit, like, a moment, right? So <laughs> I get in the car and I was like, Sean, that movie explains so much. And I have to, I have to accept my mom's death because that will lead to happy memories. And he looks over at me and he was like, how much do we put in the meter? And I was like, <laughs> I'm like in this moment. <laughs> and he just completely rolled over it. And I was like, we're over. <laughs> now I'm angry. I should have had my angry guy and been like, Sean, I went from this. I was this. And now you have made me this. And now we are going to have a very rough night. Because I was this. And now I'm this. Just saying. So anyways, that was my little story about Inside Out. It was like, it was life changing to me. I feel like every kid should see that and parents should explain it. Like, they should. Okay. So. <sighs> That was a lot. I feel a little overwhelmed now. <laughs> All right. Ken, please help Denise. I don't know who Denise is. Do I know who Denise is? I'm wonderful, Marie. Okay, so, anywho, um, I've already told Sean. I said, Sean, here's the deal. We're November time. Like, you should not really open any packages. You really should not look at the credit card bill. Like, this is bad time for Ken because I buy everything that's on sale. I won't even tell you how much I spent at Cricut today. Like, oh, hi, Denise, new subscriber. I love new subscribers. Um, So I just tell him, don't look. So I've been also shipping a lot out. So I gave, I actually gave my post lady a little Ray Dunn mug that said you rock, or no, it said shine because literally yesterday I had like, I'm not kidding, 50 packages, right? Um, oh, thank you for coming to my first YouTube live. Just to let you know, this, this, these lives are a little different than my other lives. So, you know, um, hi Sue. Uh, can you please share your chocolate video where you stack the frames out of the family? Yes, I will. If I can find it. Uh, because here's the deal. See, you guys now are making me go on another tangent. So my Chalk Couture videos now are on a separate Chalk Couture Facebook page. So it will say Ken's Creations, Independent Chalk Couture Designer. And then everything else will be on my other Facebook page. And the reason for this is because Chalk Couture has become such a big part of my life. And I have a huge team and they're amazing. And I use it for training and inspiration and stuff. I wanted it to be separate. Here's the deal. There is a lot of people that are... It was kind of freaky. So we're going in another tangent. I went to, um, 
TJ Maxx, possibly to look for Ray Dunn, maybe. And I went there and it was before opening and a lady was like, are you Ken's Creations? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm finally getting recognized in Spokane. Like nobody ever recognizes me in Spokane. And I was like, um, yeah, do you watch my YouTube? And she was like, no, you have a YouTube channel? I was like, yeah. And she was like, no, I know you from Chalk Couture. And I was like, what? Chalk Couture is what you recognize me from? And so like my Chalk Couture audience is like completely different. They don't do crafts. So like, it's crazy to me because like, it's weird. Like, cause so many people do Chalk Couture so easy and stuff. The other thing I learned from that same person is, um, now you guys, I forgot. <laughs> oh, that, um, I need to do beginner videos. There's a lot of people that I think like for beginner videos aren't beginner. Like I'm like, oh, everyone knows that and they don't. So I need to do that. Um, I, I saw someone say, ask your question again, but I didn't see it. Because when I do come from the car, my mind's going a million different directions. So, ask your question. Okay, until I see your question, I will feverishly look at my screen. Um, I'm not looking at my screen. I just told you when I looked away. So, here is the deal. Jessica. Jessica Salas. Thought I was done with done, and I'm not done with done. Okay, so Ray done. Okay, hopefully Jasmine's not watching this live. Because Jasmine, Ken, she wants to know if Chocotour boxes are good for beginners. Yes, they are. So in the Chocotour mystery boxes, um, I put um, a squeegee, paste, and transfer. So everything's there but the board. They're all brand new items that you're getting at a deep discount. You won't know what's in them, but you have everything to get you started. So yes, they're perfect for a beginner. Okay, so here's the deal. Jasmine is a slave driver, guys. I hired her to help me, but like literally, here's my typical day. I typically get up at, let's say eight, it's more like nine, um, and she gets here at like right at nine. So we drink coffee for about half hour, 45 minutes, and she responds to comments. And literally at 10 a.m., she's like, okay, Ken, let's get going. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm like, can I just like watch some YouTube videos? She's like, nope, let's get going. So she has literally, she's a slave driver. She's made me do the mystery boxes. She's making me sell my Legos. She is making me, so I did a huge distashing of Ray Dunn. Like I went through my Ray Dunn and she was like, you have too much of it, Ken. We need to get rid of it. So I got rid of a whole bunch. Nobody wanted it. Like I tried to distash it. Nobody wanted it. So I'm returning it to stores. It's a lot of money in Ray Dunn. I realized how out of control I was. So I'm returning it, right? So, well, if you return <laughs> too many, they don't like you. And they put your name on a merchandise card so you can't, like, give those cards to someone else. Only you can use it. So, <laughs> so which is okay because now I need Christmas. Because here's the deal. Ray Dunn's a smart lady. She is releasing a lot of Christmas stuff I need. And I need it all. So... I'm putting everyone on a mission again. If you happen to go to a TJ Maxx, a Home Goods, or a Marshalls, and you see any Christmas large letter, Ray Dunn, put it in your cart and send it to me. I have so many plushies. I do have plushies. Um, okay, so next topic. Yes, I'm destashing my Legos. So four years ago, I had a bright idea of I'm going to buy Legos that are retired. And I'm going to sell them, and I'm going to make a fortune, and I'm going to retire I've had these Legos for like three years and I'm sitting on them and they literally like they are appreciating in value. But by the time you sell them on eBay, eBay takes, I don't know if you know this, eBay takes 10% of your sales. So if you sell something for $200, they're going to take $20 plus PayPal takes a fee. But Jasmine literally said, Ken, the Legos in this room we need to get rid of because I needed an office with a desk. If I'm going to help you create links and do content and do this, I need an office with... She's very demanding. So I'm scared of her, so I'm doing it. And I bought her a sit-stand desk. I am a good boss. So I bought her a sit-stand desk and me a sit-stand desk because I care about her back. So when we do clean out this Lego room... So we have to clean out it because this room is full of... One side is full of Ray Dunn and the other side is full of Legos. So, um... Shelly, we still don't talk about that shelf that fell. That is actually what Jasmine is doing right now. So, <laughs> you guys are getting me on so many tangents. <laughs> so, two years ago, I had 15 buildings 
and they all fell and broke. And I did a video, it was very traumatic, and I have not talked about it since. So one of the other things Jasmine is doing is she says my house is chaos, and that's why I, I have a hair in my mouth. Why I'm so anxious is I have piles everywhere and we need to get rid of it. So she looks in this room and there was just a room full of broken Lego. She's like, what is that? And I was like, it's too hard. I can't talk about it. And I'm serious. I cannot talk about it. It took me forever to build all those houses. And it's just... <sighs> so anyways, she is now taking them part piece by piece. <laughs> and putting them in baggies so we can have that room. Because then we can take the Legos that I'm trying to sell, put in that room, and then we have an office. She wants an office. This, you guys think she's helped me? I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get her office with her desk. I know what she's doing. I'm just saying. Actually, she gets me to do things no one else can. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's I'm scared of her or what. But today she was like, Ken, because yesterday I was like, Jasmine, I ate a whole box of Oreos. Like, I cannot be trusted with Oreos. And I dip them in milk and my little cute Ray Dunn mug and I drink the milk and it's so good and I ate a whole box, right? And they have mega stuff, which is like basically all cream and a little bit of the Oreos. And so of course my pants are tight. My pants are so <laughs> my pants are so tight that I got to button them. But then I sit down in them and I rip the crotch. <laughs> so I need to go on a diet. So she's making me walk. Oh, hi Dina. So what are the deals? Alrighty then, let's go back to the deals. So the deals, the big deals that you need to take advantage of is the buy one, get one free from Cricut. So buy one, get one free. And the reason why you need to take advantage of this is, for example, I put um, five packs of the cardstock in my cart, right? It was like regular price $89.40 and then it brought it down to like $32. And the reason why is it's buy one, get one free. So if something is $10, normally it'd be $20, but you get one free. So it's $10. If you're a premium access member or a, uh, a standard access member, you get another 10% off. So now it's like around $9. Then you use KK10, you get another 10% off. So it's like around $8. So something that would normally be $20, you're getting for $8. So you get two things for $8. So you only paid $4 for an item that normally costs $10. So it's like 60% off. It is an epic deal. So make sure you use the links down below in my code. Um, the code is for everyone and that is good for you. But if you use the links, that helps support Ken's creations. And for that, I thank you. So those are the big deals. And then they also have... Um, they also have... Uh, oh my God, who is that walking? Okay, um, they also, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm trying to find it for you, Dina, you just, is it Dina? Did I mess up your name? I'm sorry. Okay, so also, I guess a lot of these are gone, but they also had some pretty good cricket clearance. So the vinyls are $2.60. I heard the card stock's gone, but it was for $3. There is candy shop pens for $2.60. The gold pen set is $4. And then there was a blue accessory patch for $2.60. So... Um, so basically all material, crap tools and accessories and cuddle bug items are buy one, get one free. And they finally have all the makers on their site. So if you liked the rose or the blue, those makers are available on their site now. If you guys didn't know, Cricut got a new website and it's awesome. Some people say your code doesn't work. I found out that you have to put in all of your address and then the code. If you try to just put in the code to see what the deal is and your address is in, it's going to say code is invalid. And you also, my new code, remember, my code is KK10, and it's 10% off and free shipping at $50. And I saw the question, I do not know when the next mystery box is coming out, but as soon as Dinah, oh, like Dinah, Dinah, I want you go, Dinah, I want you go, Dinah, I want you go, oh, 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 that song? Yeah. Okay. Um, Talking about my addictions, look what came in the mail, my Lego catalog. That's all I want for Christmas is a whole bunch of Legos. I love Legos. See, maybe I'm a child. <laughs> like, I love stuffed animals. I love Legos. Like, I'm a child. I know I am. Um, okay, so I said I would come back to this because I'm getting this question a lot about... Um, got my Christmas pattern HTV. Thank you. Plus, got free shipping. Yay, Lori! I know. So, that you want to know what I bought? So, I bought a ton of the pattern um, HTV and pattern vinyl because I don't have that stuff. Also, a lot of the, the new premium iron-on, I love that stuff. Like white, you can never have enough white iron-on. Okay, so I get this question a lot since we've done our first Scan and Cut DX, our thoughts on it. 
Here is the deal. The Scan & Cut DX is a good machine. It is definitely an upgrade from the Scan & Cut 2. My only issue with the Scan & Cut DX is during all of their promotion of this machine, they said it's going to, you know, it cuts up to material this thick. So they literally said it's going to cut all this material. But when you actually get the machine, it tells you the material will cut and it's not all material. So that was a little deceiving in my opinion is like, like you can cut wood like you would with the maker, but it dulls your blade instantly. So really you're only supposed to like cut foam, felt and something else. Um, so I still use it. It's great for cutting around stamps. I love my Scan & Cut DX for cutting around stamps, for cutting offsets. So because Cricut doesn't have an offset feature, and instead of going into like Inkscape or something like that, I will take something on my Cricut, I will cut it out on my Cricut, then use my Scan & Cut to scan it and make an offset and cut around that. It's the easiest way to make an offset for something in Cricut, in my opinion. Um, so that's what I use it for. So do I think it's something you should buy? Depends on how many stamps you have. I got rid of like literally all my stamps. So which Scan & Cut would you recommend? I do think the Scan & Cut DX has the best cutting and um, ability. I had problems with my Scan & Cut 2 recognizing shapes and cutting it. I've not had that with the Scan & Cut DX. It seems like the scanner is better. It's got a better uh, touch screen. You can zoom in a lot quicker. Um, so to me, it's the best machine, hands down. Oh, Maria, have fun at your birthday dinner. That's so exciting. Oh, and then... Sorry, I dribbled a little bit of coffee. For those that... Oh, I dribbled a lot of coffee. Um, For those of you just joined, don't forget, my mystery boxes are going quick. I just looked at my email. It looks like a whole bunch sold. If you want to use get those, they'll probably be gone by next week. Um, I have what's left is Stamper's Dream. These are going to be stamps, dies embossing folders. I have wooden stamps, which are full of the old um, Stampin' Up wood stamps. I have Chocotour, two different sizes, Chocotour, a medium and a large. Medium has $150 worth of product in it. The large has $225 product and they're half off. And then I have uh, the Arts and Crafts box still available. So, um, so get those while they last. The Stamper's Dreams are going to probably last until mid next week because I had to begin with like 180 of those and I'm down to 80 so they've sold pretty quick um but these are my mystery boxes no one else's I just want to make sure people know that so um they don't confuse it that this is endorsed by Cricut or anything where do I see your mystery boxes so I have a link in the description might be I don't know if you're on your phone or where you're at but if you're watching on the um computer it's down in the description if you're watching on your phone if you turn your phone um, portrait wise and sc scroll past all the recommended videos down there is the description. So it should be there. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. We will be doing a video tonight because I want to show you some crafty goods that have been sent to me over the past couple, um, weeks. I've gotten a lot of people asking, you know, are you going to still do videos on YouTube? Because I know you're doing a lot on Facebook, but we miss you on YouTube. So yes, Wednesdays are my day on YouTube, so I'll always do Ken from the car during the day and probably some at night. And tonight is just a whole bunch of fun stuff that people have sent me that I just kind of want to share with you and just to thank them for sending me. I also found something at Michael's that I'm super excited about that I can't wait to show and just have fun with you guys. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of insight, obviously you guys know I left my job um, at the bank. And so my income directly comes from you guys in Chocotour. <laughs> so that's why when I say thank you for, for clicking on links, I'm truly thanking you because if, because of you guys and my partnership with like Cricut and different brands, um, it helps me be able to follow my dream, which is, it, it, I'm eternally grateful to you guys. Um, it's also given me the ability to, to get some help. Um, as you guys see, I'm a lot happier than I've been in the past. And I have to say it's because of Jasmine and her ability to just basically get things done that I wasn't able to do by myself. So she has completely been a huge lifesaver to me and turned it around um, and stuff. So, but I do pay her, obviously. <laughs> so I also have to take that in consideration. And I am still working towards... Um, my dream of having Sean do this with me. Uh, Sean is obsessed with you guys. He loves doing this. He loves being with you. And my ultimate dream to tell you guys, everyone always says like, what's the next big thing you want to do? I want to travel the nation with Sean and do meet and greets. They're my favorite thing to do. The, the next one will be for me, I'm going to be going to Creativation in Phoenix, um, which is used to be called... Um, 
um, what was it called? CHA. And I love it. And it's not because of the new product. It's because I get to meet with friends that I've made and people, businesses I've worked with. And I just, you know, um, that's where I, I've met a ton of people and it's just amazing fun and the connections and just you guys. Um, it doesn't scan Marlene. The brother does flowers. Yeah. So, um, the biggest thing, uh, the only reason I will tell you guys my machine of choice, everyone always says, what is your machine of choice? When I'm crafting, um, Jill, I answer your question here in a second. When I craft, I turn to my Cricut maker. That's my machine of choice. The only thing I right now do for my scan and cut is to cut around stamps and to do offsets. So I hope that helps you. Um, the question came across, do you still stamp? And are you still with Fun Stampers Journey? Yes, I still stamp. I struggle with stamping because I tend to like red rubber stamps or rubber stamps. I think they're a much better stamp and they're getting harder to find. Um, but I still definitely do stamp. Um, and I am no longer with stamp, Fun Stampers Journey. So I'm, I quit Fun Stampers Journey about three months ago. And that's why I'm getting rid of all my Fun Stampers Journey. I don't know if you guys know this. Fun Stampers Journey um, last month or maybe this month announced that they are no longer doing a direct sales model. They're a hybrid model. So they still have coaches, but there's no longer like teams. Like you can't have a team with them and you don't make money. And it's more of like an affiliate program kind of. Um, so they weren't making money, I guess, as a direct sales. So I'm glad I got out. But I kind of feel bad for a lot of those coaches that that was their business. You know, if Chalk Couture ever did that to me, it would be detrimental. So I'm so blessed I found Chalk Couture. I'm so blessed that um, that was brought into my life because it has been a huge, not only inspiration, it's gotten me a team, which I love, and it has provided an income that I didn't have before. Oh, let's see here. Got worried because you said you were selling all your stamps. Good to hear still stamping. Yeah, I'm mostly selling all my stamps that were Fun Stampers Journey. Um, I did, I will be doing a project. I got Stamplistic uh, to Victoria's comment. Their stamp this month is a cuckoo clock and it is gorgeous, you guys. This stamp is beautiful. I love Stamplistic, you guys. You guys, I know I haven't um, done a lot of crafting and stuff. Um, I've gotten very close with the Stamplistic owner and um, I I just love her. She's funny. Um, she's amazing. And like, she's someone I truly when we get together, I just laugh, and, um, anyways, um, oh, uh, so anyways, I haven't seen her in a while, and, and I'm, I'm emotional, and I, I won't go into details why, but, um, I just love her, so that's why I support her. I tend to support and do things, uh, things I truly love, so a lot of times people say, do you just promote, whoa, that was a big truck, do you still have the heffy doodle that says something about cotton? I do have that file. That file is available to my Patreon. So if you are in my Patreon group, it is in the file section. Um, anyways, um, so I will be doing a, um, a project using her stamp set. And then just other companies send me stuff all the time. I want to show it off. That will be our tonight is just crafty finds. And to show you what people have sent me. Um, I got some stuff from Brutus Monroe. I got some stuff from... Um, I don't remember the name of the, the company, but I will. Um, so I saw the question, what is an offset? So offset was introduced to me by Silhouette. So in the Silhouette software, there's an offset. And imagine basically bringing in a file. So let's say you brought in a file of an ear, just like so. In the Silhouette software, you can hit offset and it would do a perfect shadow of this ear and then you could say how big of an offset so you could say i want it to be a quarter of an inch a half inch and it literally gives you a perfect offset what i used it for was for title so let's say i was doing a scrapbooking page and it would say you know like santa's you know naughty and nice list i would hit offset and it would give it a perfect shadow of that so you could make all these different layers the cricut doesn't offer this yet and i did ask cricut why and they said it's not a feature a lot of users have been asking for um and i think it's because we don't know Know what it is a lot of cricket users are new to the crafting world so they don't know so in the scan and cut the thing about scan and cut when you scan a stamp you can either stamp around or cut around that stamp perfectly or you can create an offset like a point for offset so you have a little bit of white around your stamp so i use it to create offsets all the time for my cuts so that's what an offset is i love offsets i think it adds a little bit to your file or if you're doing a title instead of just having the title you have a nice cute offset um and stuff uh, Stacy, I couldn't agree more. Stacy says we need to ask for it. Um, Cricut is amazing at delivering 
to their customers what they ask for. And they do a ton of surveys that they send out to customers. And when I, I flat out asked the CEO, why do we not have an offset yet? And he was very, very honest with me. He said, Ken, when we send out these surveys, it is at the bottom of the list of what people are asking for. So it doesn't make sense for us to invest in it if they're not asking for it. So, um, yeah. Will you explain how I can become a Patreon today? Oh, Victoria, I would love to explain. And I forgot that link. I'm so sorry. Uh, but if you go to patreon.com forward slash Ken's creations, um, Patreon is a way to support your favorite crafters and you can donate um, money to them anywhere between two and $30 and you get rewards for that. And one of those rewards are access to my files. And I cannot believe I forgot the link. I'll make sure it's in my next Ken from the card. Um, but that's how you can uh, join to be a Patreon. Um, which I'm super excited because once again, Jasmine's getting me all organized and um, learning how to do links and learning how to do all this stuff, which is going to free us up. And one of her things is she eventually wants to do videos with me. Um, I told her, I was like, do you want to do Ken from the car today with me? And she was like, no. <laughs> she goes, I have to work my way up to that. So she'll eventually be here. I can't wait. All right, guys. I think that's it. Um, Ken, will you still do monthly Patreon videos? I will. So I will be honest with you guys. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know this. October was not a good month for me. Um, I have been transparent from the beginning. I, I suffer big time from depression and anxiety. And um, October was really, really rough. And I didn't do barely any videos. If you look on um, Facebook or even on YouTube. I didn't do many live videos. I didn't do a lot of content and I just needed a, a moment to breathe and just get better. I had to get myself better. Um, and having Jasmine of course helped and stuff. So I absolutely will be doing Patreon. I dropped the ball in October. I did catch up on files and everything of, of my rewards, but the one thing is going to be my monthly hangout, which is probably going to be this weekend. Um, uh, my video tonight will be on YouTube. I'm hoping for about 5.30. Um, it might be a little sooner or later because we do have to set up all of our live video equipment and stuff like that. So it will be back um, and stuff like that. So that's November for me, anniversary of my daughter. Jill, it is, Jill brings up a good, I mean, it's not a good point. It's sad. Um, so for me, um, I was extremely close to my mom. My mom was my best friend. She, I lived with her by myself from fifth grade on and she just, she was my person. She was, um, my person and I loved her dearly and she, she died really quick. So, um, her favorite holiday was Halloween. So in Halloween, she would always decorate her house and it was at that time. And then, um, you know, it was Christmas, but when she got sick in Halloween, that Halloween, I put up all of her Christmas Halloween decorations because she couldn't do it. She got really sick in November. In December, on Christmas Day, we found out she had cancer. And then um, January, she started a treatment. And Friday, she passed away. Or February, she passed away. Um, so it's just... It, it October starts that cycle every year for me. Um, it brings back a lot of memories. When I put up Halloween, it's all about her. It's about her memory. It's about her... Um, honoring her because that's what she did. I don't have kids. It's just Sean and I. And people often will say, why do you decorate for Halloween? It's not like you have a lot of kids. Or, And for me, it's all about honoring my mom. Um, in November, she got sick. Um, Christmas is really hard for me. Christmas is my holiday. I love Christmas. I love giving gifts to people. I love making them happy. And I would go all out for my mom. But we found out she was sick around the holidays. And January is when she started treatment. And because at the time I worked in retail, it was easy for me to take time off. So I took her to all of her treatments. I took her to her doctor's visits. And when we went to one doctor visit, she, uh, they said, my mom flat out asked, you know, what's my survival rate? And the way the doctor said it was so weird. He said, if you were in a room with a hundred people, three people would survive and you would not be one of those people. And I was like, so it's a 3% chance of survival. I think she said 30. It was a 30% chance of survival, but I don't think you would be in that percentage. And I was like, why didn't you just say you have a 30% chance of living? Um, so it was just hard. And then, of course, February, she took a turn and, and she passed away. Um, I don't speak much of her passing. Um, I got there. By the time I got to the hospital, she was in the ICU and she had already went septic. And if you don't know what that means, um, uh, it's bad. That's when basically your, everything starts shutting down and, and you go septic. Uh, so when I say goodbye to her, I don't even think she was in her right mind. 
anyways, long story short, it's a hard time of the season and October is what kicks that off. So, um, October was just bad. I had to, I had to get in the right frame of mind and stuff. Um, Sandy, I'm so sorry. I, I, it doesn't matter what age your parent leaves the world or a child leaves the world. It, it is always hard. So I lost her when she was 24, but some people lose their moms when they're 74 and it's still hard. So, um, yeah. So anyways, uh, I thank everyone that was there for me. I thank everyone that reached out to me. Um, I, uh, the reason I came back to you guys is you guys, uh, literally, um, uh, make me feel good. Ken from the car, I know they're random. I know these are a hot mess, but I love them because it's just me and you talking and I love it. I love, I absolutely love it. You guys literally, um, make my life feel so complete. And that's all I have to say. So, um, so that's why I would love to go out and meet everyone and, and do these meet and greets and stuff. But it's hard without Sean. And I'll, I'll be honest, I could go out and do meet and greets by myself, but everyone literally says, where's Sean? I want to meet Sean. We love Sean. And I know you love both of us, but I know to, to meet both of us is, is, is huge. So, so anyways, all right, guys. So, um, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, make sure you take advantage of these sales. And I'm not just saying that so you guys use my links. This is truly an epic sale because it is, if you use all the discounts and do it right, it's close to 60% off these products. And these are new products. This is products that don't go on sale typically. A lot of the new products, they wait to go on sale. So, so make sure to take advantage of the sale because I don't think we'll probably see it around Black Friday. If and when a Cricut Mystery Box comes back, I will let you guys know as soon as possible. I know everyone's itching for that. I am too, so I cannot wait for those to come back, and I will let you know as soon as they do. Um, if you have any issues with the Cricut website, make sure to let me know so I can report it. It's a brand new website. It is a beautiful website. It works great. It is awesome. Um, so definitely check that out. And then don't forget to check out the rest of the links and my mystery boxes. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. I will see you guys tonight back here on this YouTube channel. I'm going to try between 5.30 and 6. So it will be me and Sean just kind of going over some new crafty finds that I like and see what you guys think about it. Um, it will be pretty laid back. We probably won't do too much with it, but I just want to show you. Oh, Ron, thank you so much for that um, super chat $5 for Starbucks coffee. I'll use that next week. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so I will see you guys back um, tonight at around, like I said, 530 to 6. Um, I'm uh, super excited for that one because we haven't done a video on YouTube in the night like that in a while. So this will be our first one probably in about a month. Um, so Angela, I totally know that feeling. My mom, um, sorry, one last thing. My mom made Christmas for me and it was interesting because she didn't have a line of money. And I used to always think to myself, how does she do this? And when she passed away, I found out she put it all on credit cards. She had a lot of credit card debt and it broke my heart. It broke my heart to know that Christmas was so important to her to provide us with such a magical Christmas. She went into debt, a lot of debt, and she put everything on that credit card, but she also didn't want to. And it, and it, it, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, that's so sweet of her. But it also was like, that breaks my heart <laughs> that she did this to make sure my, my Christmas memories, you know, were made. But I'll tell you what, those Christmas memories are priceless. They will stick with me for an entire lifetime and you can't pay for that. You cannot, it, it's just interesting. No matter how old we get, we always refer back to our childhood Christmas and that's what we do. So that's what moms do. Uh, you're right. It is what mommies do, Jessica. It's, it's a beautiful thing, moms. So I love all the moms in the world because you guys are awesome. So, all right, guys, I will see you tonight. I love you so much. Bye.